<laughs> and of course, the consumer is super important to the GDP, right? 70% of our economy. And we know there's $2 trillion in excess savings that the consumer has. And throughout earnings, we've heard from McDonald's, we've heard from Hilton, Marriott, Expedia, et cetera, all throughout earnings that there, there is pent up demand. So I don't think that this uh, retail season is going to disappoint on the demand side. It's the supply side that's the question mark. How are, gar are gross margins going to fare given supply constraints, labor shortages, wage increases, etc.? Labor shortages and the, and the increasing price of getting goods on shelves. I mean, it's, it's costing more to, right. to get trucks, to get shipping containers into the country. Uh, detailed last night, for example, on 60 Minutes. Let's look at the granddaddy of them all, yep. Walmart. Yeah, so Walmart reports this week, and uh, I think the whisper numbers for comps, same-store sales, it's about 7 to 8 percent. If they do 8 percent, that would be flat on a two-year stack basis. And I think that's good enough, Tyler, uh, based on expectations. It's gross margins that are going to be the question mark. Anything better than 50, down 50 basis points year over year, I think, is a victory. We know they're gaining share in grocery. We know apparel is strong and travel is strong. But at what expense is the big question mark. This stock is at 23 times. It's not super cheap, but it trades like a staple. So I think maybe the, the expectations are low enough, especially since it's only up 2.5% year to date. Maybe if you get a good headline number on the comp, maybe the stock can spike up. Let's do a, uh, a daily double here, Home Depot and Lowe's. Yeah, we know that demand is strong for housing, right? Um, all kinds of data points. And then also they're benefiting from stay at home, uh, people refurnishing their homes. Repair and maintenance is two-thirds of their sales. So you have recurring revenues in general. Of course, you've got very low interest rates. The interesting thing is Stanley Black & Decker, who sells into Home Depot and Lowe's, posted 14% growth when they reported in their tools and storage business. So that bodes well for Home Depot and Lowe's. I think you've got mid-single-digit comps for Home Depot, low single digits for for lows. Problem is, Tyler, these stocks are up a lot this year. Home Depot is up 40 percent, trades at 25 times earnings. Lowe's is up uh, 47 percent, trades at 21 mm -hmm. times. They don't usually trade well around the quarters. If you get a pullback, that's your buying opportunity. I, I used to have the, 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 the rule of 300, which meant that whenever I would go to Home Depot or Lowe's, I would spend $300. Now I think that is the rule of about <laughs> 800 because everything has gotten more expensive, or maybe I'm doing more, but at any rate. Uh, let's move on to uh, my wife's favorite store, TJ Maxx. It's not because she <laughs> likes TJ. She loves home goods, though. Home goods. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, no, it is Home Goods and it is Marmax. It's a combination. It's the ultimate reopen play. As stores start to open, people want that treasure hunt, like your wife, right? Yep. So I think comps can run anywhere from 15 to 20 percent overall. Marmax could do 19 percent comps and uh, Home Goods 16 percent comps. And uh, of course, you know, the, this company, you know, they're one of three in off pricers. They're growing their retail store base by 60 to 75 stores per year. That's huge. So I think this stock, you know, really hasn't done much all year long. It's trading at 20 times earnings. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like this one a lot for the recovery. It's a it's a fascinating company. I mean, they they, they are bucking the 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 store trend number one. They've got a great niche, yeah. and they must be fantastic operators. Yes, and they have earnings power. I believe mm -hmm. of four to five dollars a share by 2024. Right. People don't expect that number. That's for sure.